breaking news, my lovely, wonderful people, is happening. PDP, Igo Dalo, and the PDP chairman, Azegbemi, has sent a serious message to everyone out there. He said, don't worry. Legal proceedings to reclaim our stolen mandate is on course. We are on course. The way Oshomole got his mandate back, we will get our own, whether they like it or not. My people now waiting, they happen with this. PDP say, well, say they're on course, so say matter they on, on speed die. Say so, they don't start the proceedings already. Now, there is a, there's a tricky part to it. When PDP requested, yes, that they needed to check the electoral materials, already concluded election materials, some other political parties, whether being used, motivated political ideas, I don't know. They said for PDP to go and inspect those materials, it already shows compromise. Now, those are some of the materials that will be presented in court as evidences. The lawyers of the opposition can now argue, but let's leave that and wait for court proceedings to begin. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. As PDP is optimistic that, say they go get their stolen mandate to, whether they like them or not, they say they go retrieve them. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Thank you. Dr. Tony Azegbemi, chairman of the Edo People Democratic Party, PDP, on Monday disclosed that the legal proceedings to reclaim the party mandate, which was allegedly stolen by the All Progressive Congress, was on course and they have begun plans and putting motion in NS. Ego Dalo, the party governorship candidate who he said the mandate was stolen from, we are all prepared and ready to battle this out. Oshomole some time ago felt the same injustice. He went to the judiciary system of our nation and he got justice. We are very optimistic. We will get ours. This, he said, following a petition filed by the party candidate, Igo Dalo, at the election petition tribunal, challenging the victory of the all-progressive Congress candidate in the just-concluded Edo governorship election. The PDP chairman also mandated that the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, declaration does not reflect Edo's people wishes over whom they choose to, give, to govern them. Dr. Azegbemi, who disclosed this to newsmen at a press briefing in Benin, said the, uh, the APC didn't have a chance of winning. They just concluded the election. The governorship election that was held in September 21st, no chance for APC. And that's why they did everything, humanly speaking, possible to ensure they steal what does not belong to them. Dr. Tony Azegbemi also noted that INEC, as the electoral unpaired, didn't play by the rules and engagement of the commission as a as it becomes obvious that it has compromised it has been compromised we don't know what has happened but a lot has exchanged hands according to him gentlemen of the press i am here to inform edo people that we have successfully filled out petition before the tri the election tribunal on, be, on, their be, on the behalf of our candidate, I assure you that the journey to reclaim our mandate has begun. And by the grace of God, your mandate will be returned. They are alleg alleging that PDP is disrupting the inspection, APC is disrupting the inspection of the election materials. That INEC has granted them, granted them permission to in INEC office in whose interest is the disruption. We appeal to the court for inspection and the court granted us an, an road order to inspect. Why would we why would we be disrupted and why would the process be disrupted? Our intelligence unit has uncovered plans by the APC to burn INEC office. We are alerting the security agencies of the devilish plan so that they don't cover up. In spite of INEC feeble attempt to deny us full complement of our request for CTC of all electoral materials being the political wing of APC, we are still able to do the needful, as Igbemi said. On his part, Dr. General DG Asu Oge Campaign Management Committee Matthew 
said the PDP has taken the matters before a competent electoral tribunal for it to go back the to it to get back the mandate free for the people of Edo State whom has voted them in. He also urged PDP members and supporters not to give up as their stolen mandate will be restored in no distance time. And of course, the struggle is on course. We just need to stay put and wait patiently. So now PDP now the toxin say we say they don't ready. He said, in fact, they don't start things already. Say motion is on ground. He said, because the mandate they steal from the so restoration is around the corner, that they will get it back. He said, in fact, they don't begin the whole process to get them back. He said, so they don't go align it in. They stop them at all. They go do everything they need to do to make sure, say, they get back the, uh, you know, the, the, the mandate. Okay? So now, what did they happen right now? Everybody now does the look, they wait patiently to see how all of these things will play out. APC say we say they're not still mandate. PDP say I tell you say you still mandate. You steal them. You are a stealer. You stole it. Okay? So now the now the main matter where they grab this. PDP now do the ready, they don't they look the whole thing. They don't they don't go inspect the you know all the INEC materials of which they don't still get serious resistance. So and a small thing. Yeah, resist then I will start for giddy for doggy but say we say you know go check this thing. We'll start for doggy but say we we'll say you know go see all these things. We'll not go let you, you know, go ahead and say you won't just inspect. We we'll know say since APC do the um do the fight since APC, you know, that the protest as well say we we'll say no uh, inspection of the materials. However, PDP does see try small. But even that matter that they go try say they won't go inspect materials, so one party they call a court party. He said that thing so saying a fraud in his safe. He said they're not supposed to give anybody opportunity to inspect the election materials. He said why? He said they can change material. They can change results inside that place. He said so in safe, he, he not did not trust that system. He said that system I don't show and say where well, say they, there is compromise. And so he not would dig check believe in the integrity of those election materials. Now this could be another political angle to it. To ensure that the truth is not manifested. However, PDP have gained some ans access to the electoral material for inspection, but have experienced a serious resistance. So it is what it is. So the matter now is tied up. now for class. So the issue stick. He say we well, say me they explain things to her. We say really say yes. So what do you think? Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. Remember, say you get voice, so we must speak up together and end every injustice. God bless. Have a fantastic and a lovely day. Bye for now.